spiders. The eight-legged, web-spinning, creepy crawlies that everyone seems to have a phobia of. Why is that? Whether it's the eight spindly legs, the many eyes, or the venomous bite, there always seems to be something unsettling to most about these arthropods. While the majority of spiders are completely harmless, there are a few potentially deadly exceptions to the rule. Today, you will learn just what happens if a black widow spider bites you. Now stay tuned. The answer may not be what you think. Widow spiders are an extremely venomous group of spiders in the genus Latrodectus. These arachnids have developed a powerful neurotoxic venom not only to procure their prey, but to defend themselves and their offspring from predators. Does their bite hurt? Well, you've come to the right place. I actually intentionally had a black widow bite me to show exactly what the venom does to a human being. Sadly, I did not gain superpowers, but I was able to showcase exactly how deadly these spiders are. Let's take a quick look at exactly what happened when a black widow took a bite of my arm. Like a toy, okay. So I'm going to do my best to get her ready. Sweet. All right, we're going to try it. Oh, oh, is that a bite? Is that a bite? Oh, yep. Okay, I felt it there. I'm going to see if she, oh, yep. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, that does hurt a little bit. Yeah, look, look, you can see that her fangs are inside of me. There. Oh, there she goes, she released. All right, so she bit me right there. I will say not immediate pain, but it is definitely starting to roller coaster. Yeah, is she in focus for you? Mm-hmm. Perfect. That'll be good on the thumbnail. Black Widow bite, yep, okay. So it's starting to get pretty painful here. So again, neurotoxin, that's telling my body, ouch, owie, that really hurts. Don't make black widows bite you again. Now, I will say, right now, you're probably at home going, what the heck, dude, that's crazy, man. Why would you let a black widow bite you like that, huh? And I'm gonna tell you right now, there has never been a recorded death from a United States, North America species of Latrodectus. Okay, it's uh, 6 a.m. I didn't sleep at all because the pain is just terrible. You might get a tummy ache. My lower back is like the most painful it's ever been in my entire life. You might feel a little dizzy. I have a headache, my joints hurt, everything's achy. So I'm taking a Epsom salt bath to see if that'll do anything before I try anything else. Your arm might hurt. Some ibuprofen didn't do anything. But you are not going to die. Now I will mention that this is probably an extreme case, mostly because the Black Widow was biting me for so long. Typically they'll just bite and release. Um, that one was a little smaller, so I thought it probably didn't, wasn't gonna have that much of a venom yield and I needed to make sure that it latched on for a little bit longer, and I now realize that this was a miscalculation on my part. If you are bitten by this spider, and you're for sure that it's a spider, you're having a lot of extreme symptoms, go to the doctor. I'll probably make you feel, feel bad. Look, too, so now, sorry, I'm gonna interrupt myself. See how it's getting red. It's getting red around this spider. So a bit about right here. Now you can see it's starting to get red in this area. Pretty decent envenomation for a Black Widow. Again, I said, bites in secret. Typically, the bite is not very painful. I did experience a little bit of a pinch, pretty similar to the brown recluse bite uh, that we experienced just a few uh, months prior. 
Um, but yeah, you can certainly see already my skin is inflamed. You can see it's almost all the way out here. So it'll be very, very interesting to see the effects of this bite. Okay, so <laughs> we're at about four and a half hours and it is pretty much excruciating pain. Uh, I cannot sleep. I cannot lay down. Um, it's, and you can see it's a little bit red, if you can see that on the camera. Um, my lower back is just killing me. My joints are killing me. Uh, I mean, it's pretty painful. Um, I took some ibuprofen and I'm gonna drink some water. And I will update tomorrow, but yeah, it's probably, I mean, as far as like full body pain, probably the worst pain out of any bite or sting I've had. So it's pretty bad, but uh, I mean, what you gonna do? Uh, it's not gonna kill me, but just don't get bit by Black Widow. I mean, they won't bite because they're docile, but if you do get bitten, get like <laughs> some pain meds or something because whew, let me tell you it is a roller coaster a rodeo if you will uh, but um, <laughs> I'm trying to get some water and lay back down but uh, lay back down but um, it's pretty bad so I'll update tomorrow, hopefully all this will be gone and my body will have bounced back from the brink. Because this is no bueno. But anyway, thanks for, for tuning into my TED Talk. Now, the lower back pain that I am describing and went through at this time is likely due to the extreme stress that both my kidneys and liver were under while they were trying to filter out the toxin. Now, due to the neurotoxic nature of black widow venom, it's going to attack your nervous system, which is going to tell your brain that you're in a lot of pain, but many of your organs are going to try and help your body process this venom. That can cause a lot of strain on your kidneys and on your liver. So it's very important when bitten by any venomous animal to make sure that you're staying very well hydrated so that you don't cause any lasting damage to your kidneys or your liver. Um, this is worse than any insect sting I've ever had. So not necessarily like initial pain, but just like general pain everywhere for, I mean, close to about 13 hours of just continuous, just bodily aching, excruciating pain um, was what I endured. And we didn't get a whole lot of that on video because it's just me laying in bed going, oh, oh, uh, uh. so I'm just going to recap. Just imagine in your mind's eye what it would look like because it was just me looking pretty pitiful. Well, Jack, wait a second. If you're creating this video, how did you show that Black Widows were deadly? Great question. I actually set out to prove that the Black Widow spider, although equipped with very potent neurotoxic venom and a very, very, very painful bite, is actually almost fully incapable of killing a healthy human being. Their venom, although extremely potent, only comes in tiny quantities, so you would need a ton of Black Widow venom in order to kill someone. Now, this was very uncomfortable, and it did put a lot of strain on my organs and my body, but I was able to treat myself at home, not needing medical attention, and I was able to overcome the Black Widow bite. 
if you're interested in checking out the original video and many of the other videos that I use in the creation of this video, be sure to check out the link in this video description. You'll find every single video that I referenced in this Black Widow Bite video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.